Hello from Reno. Hi. It's Thursday afternoon. Things are starting to wind down. The uh, exhibit floor closes in about an hour, but we are done. D U N done. It has been wall to wall information. Uh, we didn't stop really once we got started. We we flew in Sunday night. Everything started Monday afternoon. Well, Monday at noon, and just kind of went. Monday we went from noon to 11 p.m. nonstop. Tuesday it was 9 a.m. to 11 p.m. nonstop. Wednesday, Thursday the same thing. Um, well, Wednesday the same thing. Thursday today we have a little bit of a respite before we go and play some more games tonight and meet some more people, get some more information. So that's been fun. Um, information overload. Uh, yeah. Um, Seriously. There um, has been so much information in all the seminars and just from talking to other retailers and distributors and so on and so forth. And now it's all one big mushy pile in our brains. So it's going to be a little bit before we can sort it all out, but I think we had a lot of good resources. Yeah, um, I, I've literally got an entire spiral notebook full of notes that we took at the show. Uh, Liz has a big notebook. It's not full because hers was bigger than mine because she was smarter than me, <laughs> which is not unusual. Um, but yeah, we get back home and we're going to start digesting things. We already have some ideas percolating for things that we want to do. Um, sorry, we're both kind of brain dead. We, we promised more <laughs> videos during Gamma, and there really just hasn't been a whole lot of, lot of time. Now that it was we have, hard to do. I, we just total nonstop. Like my poor Fitbit is wondering what happened. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I've closed all of my rings every day this week, which is abnormal. Um, it's been seminars on how to pick inventory, seminars on how to merchandise your store better, seminars on how to build a gaming community, seminars on, you know, what were the things, what were some uh, you did? Magic as a service, Magic Singles as a service, um, two seminars on how to sell Magic in the store, then the second one was how to sell Magic singles online so all of that's very handy for me because that's kind of what i do as opposed to him doing the comic book buying and selling I'll, um, I'll get a lot of that next year when i go to comics pro or when she goes to comics pro whichever one of us goes to comics pro <laughs> um there were seminars on um employees and running events and, running events and then there was all of the contacts with all of the um, support for OP and and organized play <laughs> and, and all of that. And then, of course, there were the seminars for, hey, I'm a, I'm a distributor or manufacturer. Here's my stuff. Here's my stuff. We would like you to buy it. Here's oh what God. it looks like. Here's when it's coming out. Here's some information about it. It felt like uh, we had to do 12 timeshare presentations. Oh, my God. 12. Yeah. And then lunch was fun. Lunch was included as part of the package. We didn't have to buy lunch for three days. Well, but he didn't. Well, I, I, I didn't. We had to buy, buy lunch for I, him. I had to pay for an extra lunch. but Because I'm special. We went and we sat and we ate lunch and we sat around tables with six to eight of our fellow shop owners and we networked and we talked shop. And oh yeah, in the middle of lunch there were presentations from distributors and game companies. That really was a timeshare time present share. Pr presentation. Um, but we've met some cool people. Yeah. Very um, cool people. Some and of whom are store owners, some of whom are movers and shakers in the yeah. industry. Oh, she's got a thing. She's got a thing. Oh, right. Hold on. Do do do. Stack of business this cards. This is our business card stack. And that doesn't even count the people that we scanned with the little app for the trade show where you could scan on people's badges and there's a QR code and their information goes straight to your app. Yeah, so when I get home, we both have a couple of lists of contacts to export 
Because really, that's the better way to do it. But, you know, business cards are old-fashioned, and people like exchanging business cards. So that's a, a thing that we did. We played some cool games. Uh, some we're going to bring into the store. We yes. hope that you guys like them as well. Um, one that I personally am really excited about is a Wild West steampunk mini game. It's, he hasn't stopped talking about it. Really, I really so haven't. Please it's, come in and play it with him. Um, <laughs> Wyatt Earp and Jesse James and their gang with uh, robot dogs kitted out with Gatling guns and high powered bikes. And He's just very excited. I'm really, I'm really very excited. Um, what, what was the. the the Russian one I played. Cogs and commissars. Cogs and commissars. You so. are, you are communist robots, trying to take control, and everybody else is also communist robots, and so you're fighting each other for control. It was really fun. Communist robots. Uh, Proving Ground, <laughs> one that's coming out soon. It's a single player game. It's a battle arena. You are the hero of the story. And the goal is for you to just fight in a battle arena and defeat eight opponents. Uh, you've got a number of dice to do that with. You take damage. Um, and it's interesting because um, there's a little timer app that goes with it that you can just use uh, any timer you want. But you basically get to roll dice um, as long as you want for one minute to put together the dice that you need to fight in the current battle round. It was interesting. Um, I lost very badly both games that I played. Um, and he I have, didn't do very good at winning. He lost to me, too. I lost to Liz. We played TAC. Um, oh, I won uh, Rat Bunny Kingdom. But you lost Godforge. I lost Godforge. <laughs> um, that's another cool one that's coming out that we'll be getting. I don't know, remember when the release date is, but it's kind of It's an, on order. Uh, interesting. We have it on order um, already. I went today and went to a lot of the exhibitor booths that we had scammed scammed not scammed yesterday um we Maybe did walk scammed. about <laughs> we did walk about yesterday getting ideas for what we actually wanted to buy while we were here and uh, <laughs> so tired. tired did we mention tired <laughs> tired um i went today and put in our orders for some things uh cogs and commissars and god forged. god forged were in those um, we're also getting some introductory packs from Hold manufacturers we haven't met before. Hold the phone with the other hand. Oh, oh no, oh! Oh, ah! there we go, okay. <laughs> there, there All right, there, there we go. go. Look, we're centered again. <laughs> I told her I was going to let her hold the video, and she's and like, I like no, no, I can't mock you for your holding I the camera if I'm doing yeah, it. Yeah, I can't criticize you if I'm doing it. All right, so what were you, Cogs, Commissars, Cogs and Commissars, Godforged. Um, Spicy Dice. Spicy dice will be fun. We put in orders with yellow and a couple other manufacturers. I have actually found a source for traditional games like um, dominoes and, and chess and things like that, which we had actually been having a hard time finding. So, yay! People want to play those? Yes, people want to play those. Oh, right. We've had a lot of requests for dominoes, believe Surprising. it or not. And nobody wants the cheap plastic ones. They want the good ones. And this manufacturer actually makes the good ones. Yay! Uh, so our pocketbook is now significantly oh lighter. Yes. But uh, it's been good. It's been educational. It was worth closing the shop for the week. Yes, it was. Um, but we hope you will all see... You all see... need to come back and see us and talk to us and ask us how it went. Yeah. And then we can talk your ears off about all the things we learned. And, and we hope the things that we learned that we put into the store will make things better for you. Yes. Build a better very community. Much so. so we have tonight here and then we've... Sorry. Fly out in the... Sorry. Not in the morning, but Sorry. tomorrow. In the afternoon. And uh, we reopen Sunday morning. We have a Lady Geek group coming in Sunday morning to kind of hang out and play games, I believe. So if you Lady Geeks are out there and are interested in meeting more Lady Geeks, please come on in Sunday. And because we've been closed for a week and because we're not tired enough, we're going to be open on Monday right. this week. Because we're dumb. Probably going to be receiving a lot of deliveries that we didn't get last week. Uh, hooray. But come by, see us on Monday. Say hi. It's a special thing just for you. <laughs> and on that note, it's dinner time and then games. Bye, everybody. Bye.